Hello everyone and welcome back to Clan Gen with Flight Kit. Little Flight Kit is looking to become a warrior with a one-sided rivalry towards Volpa here. He really wants to show her up one day. The thing is Volpa doesn't even realize that's happening. <laughs> She's just going about her apprenticeship in her own life not even realizing there's a kit in the nursery foaming at the mouth every time she gets ahead of him. So he's doing his very best to go out of his comfort zone at all times, because he wants to get strong. Anyway, we're going to go to the next moon, and just see what's going on in the clan. You're scared of leaving the nursery when it's raining, but seeing Emerald Kit run out and play in the water makes you feel braver, and you finally work up the courage to join them. You watch Emerald Kit run and play, wondering why you can't be as carefree as they are. So it seems like little Flight Kit is kind of going through a bout of insecurity. All of a sudden, he was so dead set on becoming a warrior and being an apprentice. I wonder what happened. Oh, our young warrior Ash Sprout died from the head damage that they received in the last episode. That is very sad. I wonder if that's what has Flight Kit so nervous right now. Low positive. Flight Kit appreciates Base Elk telling them they had a feather stuck to their face. Base Elk is. Deputy, okay. He currently has a list of complaints for J-Star. I wonder if it's about that border patrol. Maybe he thinks things could have been done better to prevent people getting injured? I don't know. Oh, Badger Tooth, our adorable elder who I love. Badger Tooth clears up a misunderstanding with Flight Kit. Getting along with our elders. Which is good, because he is responsible, a knowledgeable explorer, and has a natural intuition, so... I have a feeling he's going to have a lot of things we're going to want to hear. And it seems he's actually worried about Flight Kit. He has noticed that something's going on with us. Maybe let's talk to him. Are you worried about your first hunt, Flight Kit? Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Just be yourself and trust your instincts. Remember, every cat started somewhere. You've got this. Oh, that is exactly what Flight Kit needed to hear right now. He's a very good elder. I love him so much. Hopefully that helps. Ooh, a high positive. Okay. Featherpaw is always happy to be around Flight Kit. And Featherpaw is a kit that was actually adopted into the clan right before we were born. Currently being mentored by Wisteria Fern, a rogue that joined our clan. Currently he is feeling lazy. But he seems like a good guy. And I'm glad that we're starting to get along with our fellow apprentice in the future. Flight Kit is thinking about how nervous they are. That's right. I think our little one forgot because of the fact that he was trying so hard to change, but he's still nervous. He's not fully grown yet. He's still just a baby. It's hard to change so quickly. Here, let's just do our patrols. Okay, so our parents here are actually going to go on a training patrol with Featherpaw because Wisteria Fern is sick right now. Our parents are so nice. The patrol wants to hold a training session for Featherpaw. They decide to focus on tree climbing. Featherpaw begins making their way up into the tree, but a branch cracks and breaks beneath their weight. The apprentice is sent crashing back to earth, hurting their paw in the process. Featherpaw got bruises. Okay, well, take a deep breath. You know, things could have been worse, and you've got two adult warriors here to take you back to camp. I think Featherpaw is going to be just fine. Injuries are kind of part of the learning process. When you catch the gaze of J-Star, you nervously duck your head back into the nursery. Featherpaw makes fun of the fact that you can't leave camp yet. You lash your tail angrily. One day. Jeez, Featherpaw. After my parents were so nice to you, comforting you when you got your bruises. Wisteria Fern asks if you've started thinking about what you'd like to be when you're older. And anxiety fills your heart, overwhelmed by the possibilities of the future. Hmm. I wonder if Flight Kit does want to be a warrior. It seems like he's having a hard time deciding. He doesn't really know himself yet. I almost wonder if I'm going to have to press the random button when it happens. Right now, he is trying to set a good example for younger cats. Maybe we should talk to him. He might have something nice to say. Oh, uh, hi, Flight Kit. Sorry, I can't play right now. I'm a bit busy. Maybe J-Star can help you out? Well, that's who I'm trying to avoid right now. Why would you suggest a leader instead of my mom? High positive. 
Barry, Freckle, and Flight Kit joke around about how bad the other clans smell. Barry, Freckle, you're the mediator. You're not supposed to be doing that. Oak Tuft is telling jokes about Flight Kit. Why? You're the queen. Although, you know, maybe it was said in a nice way and the little kit just misinterpreted it. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's probably what happened, actually, because we're so nervous. And supposedly Oak Tuft is charismatic. So there's no way she would be, like, trash-talking a baby. Well, let's have you teach us, in fact. Flight Kit shows an impressive strategic mind when facing Oak Tuft in a play fight, their skills nearly rivaling an apprentice's. Hmm. That's quite promising. Maybe <laughs> Oak Tuft was saying something about how you wouldn't expect a kit like that to have those skills. Maybe that's why it was misinterpreted. She was just genuinely impressed. Oh, I'm in the warrior's den. Probably visited my father here. And Barry Freckles followed me. If we're gonna pester older cats to play with us, why not pester the oldest cat, Badger Tooth, who is feeling rather chipper today, so we have a chance at getting him to play with us. Let's see. Oh, be careful near the brambles, dear kit. It's easy to get hurt. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem like he's willing to play right now, but he's gonna watch after us at least. I can definitely see Badger Tooth being one of our main babysitters when Barry Freckle isn't around. I don't think we really get along with the queens. Oak Tuft kind of makes our kit insecure. And we haven't really interacted with Scrub Blotch much. I'm assuming that she's busy with our siblings. And possibly little Maple Kit here, who is quite noisy. And practicing a mighty roar. Yeah, I think while they're taking care of the other three kits, I kind of wander and hand around the mediator and the old senior cat. As Cloverpelt tears through the forest with J-Star, stretching their legs on a run, they spot movement out of the corner of their eye. With a huge leap, Cloverpelt darts sideways and pulls a blackbird out of the air. J-Star trots over to congratulate them on the fantastic catch, purring, a medium amount of praise brought to camp. So our mother has very good reflexes, I wonder if that's where we get it from. We do have the nervous side of our father, but maybe our mother's gonna save us with some excellent skills. Volpa is making fun of the fact that I can't leave camp yet. Why is everyone making fun of me? All these apprentices are so mean. Currently, J-Star is asking Volpa if they're ready for an assessment. So maybe Volpa is going to be graduating early. Darn it. <laughs> I hope not. Basilk is sparring with Flight Kit. Oh, the deputy. That's so cute. He's a nice guy. Even though he is the mentor of Volpa. Blech. Barry Freckle quickly apologizes after bumping into Flight Kit. They have a small laugh about it. I'm surprised how much we get along with Barry Freckle. Maybe mediation might be our thing. Also, we got lucky. Us and Scrub Blotch. Yeah, see? Scrub Blotch feels literally nothing for me. That's insane. You're a queen. It's your job to take care of me. I mean, I like her, and I feel comfortable with her, but she doesn't care one way or the other. There. At least have some sort of feelings towards me. <laughs> Nothing in terms of health. And Dazzlepelt was seen taking food from a two-leg. Dazzlepelt? I think she's going to be forgiven for the transgression this one single time. Because we are quite low on food right now. Let me see. Yeah, we don't have a lot of food. And for a warrior... Kitty pet food is disgusting. It is so bland, it tastes like nothing. So she wouldn't have wanted to eat it. She must have been <laughs> suffering for the rest of us, I'm assuming. So the kits could have something better to eat. Also, still pestering older cats to play with me, hmm? Well, Badger Tooth, looks like you're out of luck. Thinking about going on a little jaunt outside camp, but little flight kit runs up. Stay close to your mentor, once you're an apprentice. Cinder Clan's territory spans thousands of tail lengths. It's easy to get lost if you wander too far. Badger Tooth always gives us good advice. So how are we getting along with the other clan mates? We really like and respect Bay Silk. It would be cool if he could be our mentor, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We also get along with Scrub Blotch quite a bit, even though she doesn't care about us, as we found out. 
still decently like Volpa, even though she's quite mean to me. We love Berry Freckle. Frogpool, I'm surprised we have any feelings for it all. Pretty normal for everyone else. Doesn't really dislike anyone, even if they're mean to him. Actually, we have some dislike towards our sister Moose Kit. That's interesting. I wonder why. <laughs> the only other exception would be Oak Tuft. So what's going on here? Why do we not get along with our sister? There are no relationship logs. We just don't like our sister for no particular reason. Interesting. And we definitely don't want to be a queen. Because we don't want to deal with Oak Tuft. You know, I think Volpa is getting quite close to becoming a warrior. She's going to go on a solo training patrol to see how that goes. Volpaw wanders past an old badger set in the roots of a hazelnut tree only to freeze. There is new scent here, acrid and sour. So how does she deal with a badger? <gasps> Volpaw carefully approaches the burrow, trying to figure out if there's anything new inside. It's so dark and it all smells the same. They try to creep just a little closer but the ground drops away steeply beneath their paws and they lose their footing, skidding right into the disturbed badger's lethal jaws. Volpaw died. I have never seen a cat die to a badger in this game before. Oh, Volpaw. Oh, that's really sad. Oh my goodness. I wonder how this is going to affect Flight Kid as well. So many cats that he looked up to and wanted to like try and be like have just been passing away due to the most unfortunate circumstances. Oh, that's rough. Poor Volpa. She was so young. Ah, uh, she could have been our rival in the future. We could have had such an interesting story together. That is very, very sad. All right, we're going to have a large border patrol. Once again, Featherpaw surrounded by a bunch of warriors. Your patrol cautiously moves towards the sound of barking. Near the border, they spot a dog chasing something. Oh no, it's a cat! The patrol swiftly jumps into action. They capture the dog's attention and draw it away from the clan. Wisteria Fern stays hidden and goes to the cat while the rest of the patrol lures the dog away. They're unharmed, and this display of bravery makes them want to join the clan. Fruit spots join the clan, and our reputation towards outsiders has improved. Okay. So this is fruit spots. Who are you? A very young male, 13 moons old. Bronze eyes and the mackerel pelt. He is faithful and a good sport. So you sound like an excellent cat to join the clan. Very good experience as well, and a former loner. He must have been through a lot to have that much experience so young. Fruit pots, <laughs> fruit spots, sky chase, and dazzle pelt. Ooh, dazzle pelt is tempted to eat the prey she just caught. I have faith in her. We know she's taken a lot of sacrifices for this clan when it comes to food. I really hope that she doesn't remember the taste of kitty pet food and then suddenly want to get that taste out of her mouth. They think they've gotten away with their clandestine snacking, but when Dazzlepelt arrives back at camp, another patrol member pulls the deputy aside for a quiet word, glaring back at Dazzlepelt. The deputy assigns them to dig a new trench for the clan's dirt place, and Dazzlepelt hears snide remarks when they slink into their nest that night. A very small amount of prey is brought to camp. Well, I can 100% say... That that was Sky Chase telling on Dazzle Pelt. And I know he's immensely disappointed in her. How could a warrior do that to her clan? And it seems like she has been punished. You should be careful, Dazzle Pelt. You could get banished for stuff like that. You probably have just one single strike left. Like two out of three. Okay, good job, everyone. Except for you, Dazzle Pelt. Bad job, bad. <laughs> but other than that, things are going decent, except for the fact that we lost poor sweet Volpa, and we're probably going to have to see the effects it has on the clan in the next episode. I do wonder, 
what we're going to do. I fully believe we're going to press random when it comes time to choose what we become in the future, because I can't see Flight Kit knowing what to do right now. So much confusion, so much fear, he just doesn't know. Maybe he'll let Star Clan choose for him. I'm sure he would go to sleep, begging Star Clan to tell him what to do. And whatever decision he makes is going to be what he was told in his dream. And we'll have to see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.